And we were drinking rye, rye, we drink American rye Drove my Chevy to the levee and it was full of rye And us good old boys drinking whiskey made out of rye Singing I'ma go and drink some more rye Hello America Hey everybody Or portion of America that watches The tiny 1.1, no no no, 0.1%, 0.001% Hello friends Hello, I'm Eddie I'm Erica And this is the Rock Out Review um, and forgive us if you can hear the skirling of bagpipes in the background. Um, the Milwaukee Police and Fire Department bagpipe people, uh, practice, practice right outside our house. Yeah. <laughs> Every Tuesday. Yeah. It's, um, we live right next to a school that has a big parking lot. It's not like we live in, like, a house and they just right. gather in front. <laughs> like, it's not a personal hilarious. thing. It's just a convenient parking lot. Every Tuesday they come to our house and just blare bagpipes. <laughs> Just so it's clear. Um, no, but actually it's kind of fun because it's a whiskey show, so bagpipes in the background kind of works. Yeah. Yeah. So if you can hear it, hopefully we're louder than it and it's okay. Yeah. If we have any sound issues, please let us know in the comments. But today, it's the end of Joe Rye. Happening in August. Happening in August because we missed a, a couple episodes. Yeah. And that's my fault. But what we're doing is we're going to find out if we can find a rye that you like. It's an ultimate challenge. It's the ultimate rye challenge. So, how's this going to work? We have four pours in front of you. Okay? They're uh, blind, so that you don't know what these are. I poured them. They've got one through four on, on the uh, bottom of the Glencairn. And you're going to take a sip. Now, rules were that these had to be, like, American-style rye. None of this Canadian stuff where it's, like, a little bit of rye. Had to be full, full-on rye style. Okay? <laughs> Alright, so I made the selections, so you get to do the drinking. Yeah, and to be clear, we're not looking for the best rye here, we're looking for the best rye that I, a person who hates rye and like a lot of the rye characteristics, would like. Yeah, one that she can actually choke down. Yeah. So, okay. uh, and I'm not going to tell you till the end, till you get through all of them, okay? Well, wow, that's a frustrating one. <laughs> okay. Our first contender is Michter's Single Barrel Straight Rye Whiskey, bottled at 42.4% alcohol, or 84.8 proof. I like the smell of this one. It's a little caramelly. Cool. I'm gonna just smell them all. Okay, go for it. Contender number two is Great Lakes Distillery's Repeal Reserve Rye, a straight rye whiskey bottled at 45% alcohol with a 92% rye mash bill. This smells kind of yellow, like it's kind of flat, but has a green tea note. So far, not getting any of the terrible smells I usually associate with rye, which is good. Contender 3 is not, in fact, a rye at all, but is Widow Jane 10-year-old blend of straight bourbon whiskeys, coming in at 45.5% or 91 proof. I just threw this one in here to mess with Erica. There's something grainy there. Like, it's not much, but it's like, I feel like I know it's trying to be rye under the ear. So I feel like this is like a rye that that you would like if it was more rye-like, but you're like, okay, it's just passable enough for me. Okay, okay. That's cool. That's fair. Eh. Now what's this? Our final contender is Lip Service by famed vintner Dave Finney. This is a rye whiskey, aged three years, finished in French Grenache barrels. It is bottled at 45%, and the label scares the hell out of me. It's just weird looking. Got some alcohol in my nostrils there. <laughs> <laughs> alcohol in my nostrils is the name of my autobiography. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so so far, just based on smell alone, like, it's kind of right down the line in terms of what I like. Like, this caramelly one... It reminds me of a bourbon, which is why I like it. Okay. This one, it's fairly neutral. This one wants to be a rye, and that one burns my nose, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So this one's too too hot. Yeah. Just straight up hot. Well, I wouldn't even call it, like, spicy hot. It's just that like, rubbing alcohol. Right. Thing. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. it's not hot rye spice. Yeah. It's just too alcohol. Yeah. Okay. 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 Cool. Oh, I smelled it already. Right. It's got bourbon characteristics, but I taste the rye underneath. Okay. It's fine, though. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's something. That's, that is more than 
pretty much I've ever gotten her to admit. It's fine. It's very fine. Like, that front note kind of reminds me of, um, like, a weeded bourbon, but just, like, that back end, that's where the spice of, like, rye comes in, and okay. it starts to be like, you're losing me here. Okay. But it's not... Okay. But it's not it's terrible. Good. Yeah. That's cool. Because that's it's cool. not... I'm not overloaded with that, look, here's spice, here's pickle, here's dill, and yeah. all that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. Cool. Let's go with this one. I got dill there, so... <laughs> oh, that one's straight out. <laughs> Like, it's not overwhelmingly dilly, but... Yeah. But no, if there's... I got it. If there's a hint of dill in in any whiskey, you'll find it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll hate it. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's true. There's dill on this one, too, and it's more than this one. Okay. 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 Wow. All right. Yeah, I... Yeah. You knew this was going to be a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. I, I knew. I knew. This one's really interesting. Okay. Now you didn't like the smell of this one so much. Yeah. And this is this is number four here. So yeah, four. You didn't like the smell so much. I don't get as much of that alcohol burn on the taste as I did on the smell. What is that? But like, not oak. It's like a lighter wood, and I can't. Frustrating. Okay. All right. I wouldn't necessarily say I like it, but I would, I would sip this for a while to figure out. Okay. What the notes are. It is not rye like. So it's not your yeah. And I greatly that's value that's that. the important thing. It's not rye like. Yeah. Number four is not rye like. I would say between these four, I like this one, the best. Okay. But that one interests me the most. Okay. These two are terrible because they taste <laughs> like rye. Okay, so just just to be clear, number one is it's your favorite. One. Yeah, number one's number one. Yeah. Um, because that one is like the least spicy dilly. Yeah, like I get no rye subtleties on the nose or on the palate. Okay, cool. Except cool. for like at that biting end. Right. But like that, the finish is. It's like that. It's pretty quick, so I can get over it. Okay, okay, cool. Then drink it some more. Alright, number two, you don't like, because that's one, that one's just dill. Yeah. Can't stand that one. Yeah. Alright, that's alright. But three is worse on the dill. Three is worse on the dill. And it should be banished. Okay, no no three. No, no three. Alright, but four is not your favorite in terms of something like pleasant, like something you want to drink a lot of, but it's the most like complex and interesting. Yeah. Okay, so it's got the most going on, but it doesn't necessarily work the best. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now it's time for the big reveal. Yes. That's All right. Number one. Number one is Michter's Single Barrel Rye Whiskey. Oh. Um, and actually, I'm going to reveal to everyone already what they were before you find out, so they already know what which one was which. Okay. But number one, Michter's uh, Straight Rye. I chose this one because I knew it was sweeter. It was much sweeter than any of the other ones. Good choice. And I was like, yeah, she's gonna she's gonna dig the the carameliness. <laughs> Alright. Number two was Great Lakes Distillery, Repeal Reserve Rye. Mm -hmm. I chose this one because this one is, I think, sweeter and less rye, but then again, my my sense of ryeness is all messed up. Uh, number four. I want to talk about number four. Number four is actually an interesting one because number four was lip service. Mm -hmm. David Finney's whiskey. Uh, so this is a rye finished in uh, French Grenache barrels, which expl probably explains a lot about why you found it so like different. You know, like kind of kind of subtly complex. Yeah. It's very sweet, and I wish... Does it say what, like, the tasting notes are on the back? Um... Because there's a dessert characteristic to it. I can't it, figure out what dessert it is. All it says on the the barrel is Grenache barrels, which added a unique texture and appealing flavor profile. Okay. It doesn't actually give us any tasting notes. I think the wine comes off really, really noticeably. In yeah. This. Yeah, for sure. It's a little bready, too. Yeah. And I, it's interesting that you said, like, that it, it had more, like, not an oaky taste. Because, mm -hmm. like, a lot of red wines, when they get put in barrels, I think they come off as more cedary than oaky. 
I was wondering if maybe that was what you were getting. Yeah. Anyhow, okay. But number three. Number three is interesting. Because I lied to you. Is it not right? It's not right. What is it? <laughs> it is, in fact, Widow Jane, 10 year old bourbon. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> well, and that's what I wanted to figure out. If I told you this was rye, would you would you get more more dilly notes from it? That is not. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you know it's bourbon, does it smell different? No, it still smells right. It still smells right. Okay. Yeah. I okay. think I've had this before, and I feel like I told you the exact Did same thing. Did you? You might have. See, this smells very bourbony to me. It smells sweet and banana-y, but... Yeah. But is this a bourbon you like? Yeah. Yeah, this explains it. <laughs> <laughs> so I should have chose, I should have chosen like a single malt or something to try to fool you. Something Maybe. way off the beaten track. Yeah. Well, you got these three, like, all of them, you said, you were right on track with the tasting notes, though. Oh, yeah, you had, you had those down pat. Yeah. Um, this one... I don't get, well, no, it's a little, it's got a little bit of a, the astringent spice in this I like. Yeah. Yeah. I could see you not liking one. This is, this is a uh, rye, uh, a bourbon made with rye, too. So it's not a weeded bourbon. Okay. Yeah, so. What are your thoughts on Michter's? Right? The Michter's? Yeah. Too sweet. That's, okay, see, I find it very interesting that, like, I like this rye the most because it's more bourbon and you like this bourbon the most. Because it's, it's more, more rye. rye. <laughs> I feel like this explains. Like, yeah, yeah. This explains a lot about us. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. This is a little bit more dry tannic. Yeah, yeah definitely. All right. But this has been the finale of Rye July. Well, In August. Yeah. August. Og rye? Yes, that's... That's, They're all bad. That's not a good one. That's really bad. not a good one for August. Yeah. But thank you guys for sticking with us. We're going to get back to doing other kinds of spirits now. I feel like I feel like we probably lost a lot of people on this rye bull crap. <laughs> but I'm going to finish off with the Widow Jane. I'm going to finish off with the Mictors. And until next time, you guys stay tuned. Oh. Like the video. Yes. And subscribe. And subscribe. And stay, stay rotten. rotten.